All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <laughs> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You do have a So, uh, when am I gonna hit the jackpot? You know, uh, all that glitz and glamour. It, it looks like a fish? Doom? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me know the quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Yeah, looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know it? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back.
medical board. Throw the other in the brig and keep him there. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Hey, 
Charlie, help! <laughs> Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and then son. I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Oh, God, no. Charlie!
Won't you spare me over till another Hello, and welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, of greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions, or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made.
Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people, or whatever. Just shut up. You gotta loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me, I want you to have a good time. Okay, well, what if somebody asked me to do something stupid, like run around naked or something? Metaphorically, just go with it. <laughs> All right, amigo, Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy, I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. It's been like two weeks. Huh? <laughs> yep, right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey, so, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Hey! <clears throat> oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley, I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Missed hey, me. man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, tight. Uh, I, I love beer. <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. Uh, it's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. We're gonna be gentle. Uh... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Uh, 
That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to yeah. go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh, boy. See those hot pits. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <laughs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? <sighs> We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Hmm. I don't think might be a way in. This doesn't look kosher. Huh. What am I looking at here? What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. You know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment.
So, about that. I just wanted to let you know I'm pretty sure her diving license is fake. The seal's, like, pretty much coming off. And it's got a couple suspiciously misspelled words. Explains why she's acting so weird. Wonder what else she's hiding. Yeah. At least we can use it as a bargaining tool if she pulls any more goody two-shoe bullshit on us. But my dad's lawyers would love to hear all about it. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool, just holler at us when you're ready. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Fliss, we paid a lot of money for this particular dive, in this particular spot. Every time I take a group of you people out, it's the same thing. No regard for anyone else's customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Come on, you see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Zing. Okay, so this is the rebreather way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clownfishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. Are those two going in or what? You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Soon it'll be you and me. Out of the frying pan. All right, kids, good to go. Just remember the rules, please. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. Good. More or less. 
us. Too bad Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You? Are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Freshening your cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. I built this business from scratch. I took out a loan on my boat and that's all the help I need. Thanks. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan in ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack, you're out cold. That makes no sense. I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private? Just, just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. How's it going? 
Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Are you close with your brother? <laughs> Known him my whole life. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. around. Weather looks clear. Well, hello there, Captain. Can I do something for you? I can think of a few things. Oh, do tell. Mm, maybe later, if you stay on my good side. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard, so we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? You gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water! Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think, like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad, let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Dangerous. Uh, ladies first? Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. 
I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go! Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. something. Wow. What the hell happened here? From the look of things, they knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Life gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this.
Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. something stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You get that? Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. They were on their way to help out a ship. Shark, not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, okay. I, uh, what are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I, I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's... it's not the best time. <sighs> it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Hey, seriously, what's going on? Nothing. Yeah, but you're freaking me out. Just forget it. I shouldn't have said anything. Come on, we've really got to get up top. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia, we got to decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We got to get up there. Wait! We have to decompress. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My brother's up there. Julia, this is crazy. You just gotta wait a few seconds. <sighs> Fuck it, I'm going. Hey, JJ, don't worry about it. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? So, why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, 
What'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Alex, you're like an open book with a 50-point font. I can read you from a mile away. Something's up. It's nothing. I'm oh, fine. bullshit. You're like Monsignor Mopington over here. Julia, are you happy? Well, yeah, of course. Why would you ask me that? I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future. You know? What's next? I'll be honest, lately I've been wondering about the same thing. Where do we go from here? Look, when we get home, we can talk about some stuff, but relax. I mean, it's not like we're breaking up. It's just some stuff we gotta deal with. Okay. Yeah. Stuff. Got it. I'm gonna go find Brad and Conrad and Fliss. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Jesus Christ, Conrad! <sighs> so sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. Nah, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. 
does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my lips are sore. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Relax, Brad. How many times do I have to tell you not to be such a wuss? Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. Hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Beer o'clock. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, sure, but, you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Okay, here we go. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. 
One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. So gross. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified. He looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, ol, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. I think you told it better last time, but good effort. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in, there's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh, no, 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 because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue, regulatory institutional protocol, subdivision 1099. Uh-huh, <laughs> where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddies. And I'm out. Okay. I 
think so. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Jesus, Conrad. my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take him by surprise. Okay. They're coming. Oh. Fuck. Motherfucker. 
course. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. to wait and see what they want to do with us. Got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. If you can distract them, I can sneak around in a speedboat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, Orson. Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah. 
I get it. All right. Shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. together. This was a trap, and you set us yeah, up! Yeah, yeah, so... Put a cork in it. <laughs> Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out! Move! Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> Good. 
Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! place is a floating death trap. Hey, hey! Keep moving! Sign up for a trip to Creek Town. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. What the hell do these dickheads want with us? Ah, oh, man! in here. 
here. Give us the light. Oh. Thanks. is this fucking place given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship you think this ship is the Manchurian gold we are in the vicinity of those coordinates we can't just sit around we need a plan yeah we're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. Second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So, okay. What exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. Well, typically, a distributor cap is designed to distribute voltage from the coil to the correct rotor, which in turn... It's an essential part of the engine. We're not taking the Duke of Milan anywhere without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss? I just wanted to say that, um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys, or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. So, real, real creepy. Was there something in this small print? Should we expect an itemized bill for all these, uh, extras? Yeah. Kidnapping, 750 AM. Extra time, 350 an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering? I'll get back to you on that one. At least you're not charging us for the damage to your boat. I am now. What do you think this ship was? I wonder why this was ripped off. What's going on? Just enjoying the perks of our all-inclusive cruise. I found a letter, by the way. Some guy was writing to his little lady back home about all the ghosts and crap on the ship. Ghosts? 
Yeah, I mean, Homeboy was probably just going a little nuts being away from his girl for so long. Heck, that'd make me start seeing things too. Yeah. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Look, those meatballs are probably just looking for some get-rich-quick Manchurian gold. Which may not even exist. I mean, what if they don't find anything? Then we're fucked. So, what do we do? We want an adventure, right? So let's adventure the shit out of this popsicle stand. <laughs> you gonna man up and be a hero? I'll be whatever you want. Duly noted. Okay, well, we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. All right, yeah, catch you later. Get it open. Hey, come here. If we can bust it open, freedom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vent like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? No, I got this. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. Hey! Yeah, you, Long John Silver and shit. Uh, what are you guys doing out there? Pieces of eight and shiver me timbers, you one-legged fuck faces! Yeah, you smarmy varmints! Hey, hey. Yeah, no, you. I'm gonna rip your pirate parrots off your shoulders and yeah. stomp them into yeah. rainbow-colored stew! Fuck you! Hey! Can you hear me? I I'm talking to you! Hello? Safe now? Be quiet. I need to keep going. Look at that. I love what they done the place. Come on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish and leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Something moving would make that sound, sure. 
What is this place? Engine room? Well, is there anything we can use down here? We're gonna need the distributor cap back. If we're ever gonna get out of here. Oh, this is nice. I wonder where everyone went. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. I'm gonna go get it. We gotta be careful. Could be a trap. We gotta take the chance. Damn it, they're taking place. Shut the fuck up, man. Where are the others? Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres.
that? You heard that? Maybe we get an iceberg. Not funny. Before Alex, have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys, we gotta keep moving. <laughs> Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around the kitchen. Please, relax. Just messing around. this place. I'm thinking we gotta go through here. Something. It was moving in the shadows. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me! All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool it, Jay. We don't have a lot of options. It's gotta be. Okay, no, this isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? There's no such thing as ghosts. Oh, ghosts? There, there are ghosts now? Well, no, there's no such thing as... Well, you know that, and I know that, but do the ghosts know that? Okay, listen. Sure, it's freaky, and it's disgusting, and it's a little depraved, but they are just a bunch of dead bodies, and I'm sure they are going to stay dead. What is this? Hey, we got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead, and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Human? What is the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Now! Leave, leave, leave! You got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes! Maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there. And those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And then and... they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. What's the matter? <gasps> what is it? Look! What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here?
Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. We gotta get Fliss. No time. What the hell is making that sound? Uh, what sound? Oh. Why so spick and span? Any medicine we find in here? Still might have some kick. Four years of med school and you prescribed me an 80-year-old aspirin to call me in the morning? That's not gonna make him sick, is it? No time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? gone on ahead. Why would I tell you? <sighs> tell me where we are going, damn it! These fucking places cursed.
Haven't we been here before? Jesus! <sighs> oh Christ. Oh Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, your ghost stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. What do you think happened to this guy? Face looking like that. I don't know. Looks like nothing I've ever seen. I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now! Olsen! Merde! Qu'est-ce que tu fais? What was that? What's it, Bo Dallin? What just happened? I don't know. Hey, what? Come on, we should keep moving. We need to find a way up on deck. <sighs> that can't be a good sign. Are you sure you know where we're going? Fliss? Uh, Fliss? Hello? Fliss? Fliss? Where'd you go? Great. 
all these hallways look exactly alike. Hey! Fliss, hey! Where were you? Fliss! Fliss! Where'd you go? Absolutely sure. Shut up and keep moving. Gotta get out. Gotta get out. Just keep on moving. Oh, hell. Who's that? Who's there? Get away! Alex? Julia? Oh, fuck no!
name is this?
Brad. Hey, Brad. What are you... Hey, what's wrong? Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. What the fuck? Okay. Thanks. I could have drowned. We got to get away. He's still around. That that guy. Fuck. <laughs> wanted to surprise me with the whole pirate adventure thing, and I gotta say it was a good idea. No, it was. I mean, it's funny. I think it's funny, but I think the guys you hired are taking it a little too far, maybe. And don't be cheap. I mean, you didn't feel like paying top dollar, and that's... You get, you get these guys that are not the cream of the crop. They're taking it a little too far. You know, you get my drift? So if you want to feel free to pull the old plug, get rid of these guys, I'm with you. I mean, these guys are fucking crazy. They're chasing us around the ship.
just, it's just fucking with me. That's it. I gotta find everybody. Whatever this is, it's, it's just fucking with me, okay? <laughs> Yeah, I should really take a look behind this door, shouldn't I? I should. But should I? Yeah, I should. <clears throat> well, all right. So how do I pry this son of a bitch off? It would have been the captain. Probably not much of a practice what you preach kind of guy. Got some half at least. Enough for the door.
God damn, you scared the hell out of me. Come on, we should keep moving. We need to find the others. What's up? Out of the way! Oh, whoa. Come on, we gotta get somewhere safe. Hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. No hint? Perhaps you think you can piece things together from the clues you found yourself. Good luck with that. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. What's wrong with you back there? What? Brad, you lost your shit, like, big time. You almost killed me. What? What are you talking? Come on, no, no, come on, that's ridiculous. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because, I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some, like, like, evil, like, literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? 
the stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. I saw something. This, uh, uh, this old lady. I mean, she was batshit crazy, like dinosaur old. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... Let's time out, okay? This place is too fucked up to just be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, something is going on here. So what do we know for sure that we can all agree on? <laughs> Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like, ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and oh, holy shit, we're so totally fucked? I was gonna say the same thing. What do you think actually happened to this place? No idea. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. Did you see the gold? Anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting either. This should go over well. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? I feel like we're on real houseboats or the river sticks. So what's with the bodies? They come with the ship? They actually look like they've been scared to death. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're... Uh... Speaking clinically, totally effed. these if they weren't Swiss cheese. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. I'll pull you up.
This is... This is where I chased Gunrides before. Huh. I, I thought it looked familiar. Over here. Got a way through here. Find a radio yet? No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival at this point. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working! It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit, we got him. Uh. Come on, this is an emergency, please. Abandoned, huge, and old. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please, come in! Yo, guys, check it out. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna make it down there in my shape. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Are you kidding me? You? Come on. <laughs> Sounds like you're scared of someone stepping out of your shadow. Scared of my idiot brother getting himself killed? How about showing me some brotherly love? You sure you're up for it? I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julian, no. Not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. <laughs>
Any broken bones? Everything still work? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay, we'll wait here by the radio. Here. Hey. After you. Guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. A guy named Joe in sick bay. I wish I could actually. Circumstance. You know, this place would be the coolest place to explore, like, like ever. I'm gonna say no, not at all. Says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck. Shut up. Hmm. Might have been the son of somebody on board. Oh, Jesus. Here, come check this out. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Uh, the ladder's broken off here. And I, I think I can just... Wait! Uh, Are you okay? Yeah, uh, all good. Just come down. What's up? That, it, 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 it was... Wait, wait, didn't you see it? Um, hello? Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship is carrying the Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. And we know that it was super unstable and leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here? Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years, and it's having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I mean, maybe there was a connection? Maybe they made contact? It's a theory, I guess. Oh, God. All right, let's get going.
You know what I miss right now? Dry clothes? Yeah. Look at this! The rebreather! The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Dead weight. No. Je t'en prie. No. Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur. Ferme ta gueule de merde. Tu dis n'importe quoi. Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries. Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde. Écoute. Écoute-moi. Non. Fais pas ça. Ta gueule. Ah Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule. Oh, fuck. Why would he do this? We have to be very careful. As crazy as a shit house rat. Wait. I think we should try to avoid that. Yeah. There's no use hiding, you little foot. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? <laughs> have all the gold, and I'm to be left here to die, but I am the captain, I am in control, and I am the one that says who goes, and who stays. Ah. He's breathing down our necks. Please tell me you have an escape plan. Can't risk moving yet. Just need to watch and wait for an opening. Ah! The smug Americans have smashed their way into a foreign land and come up short. The generators are on. The gold is mine. And now I'm the one who gets to smash. Me! 
Totally. I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts of stuff. Okay. Okay. None of you move. None of you go on changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Oh. Changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said no changing. Just put the gun down. Nobody has to get hurt. You think I wanted to hurt anybody? I didn't get a choice in this, did I? It's in you too, isn't it? Isn't it now? changing on me! What? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! What? There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! Dude, what mist? You've... You must have seen it! It's everywhere! Yellow creeping everywhere! It's inside now! Inside with us, now! Please, just calm down! Stop! Stop! It's in one of us, isn't it? I haven't breathed any weird mist. Please, I promise. Yeah, you breathed in the mist! It's happening. I can feel it! Come on, man. There is no mist. <laughs> no, no! Wait by the radio. Why? I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh... I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. I'm gonna hang back here as well. Stay by the radio. We need someone to keep listening. I I can't. I saw the 
the, the, the big guy. He had the distributor cap. You gotta go after him. This must have been what we just heard. Oh no, what's that? Doesn't matter. We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to have come this way. gonna make this jump, Alex. I'll have to find another way around. Look at that. Sometimes you just get lucky.
okay. It's okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fliss. Gotcha. All right, let's try it. could have done something. Maybe it could have been me. I know it should have been. That's it, game over. You're done, for now at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Almost. Things became a little intense, but Alex kept his nerve. Well done, Alex, well done you. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again, maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Want to spare me over till another year? Want to spare me over? Want to spare me over till another year? 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 Oh, death. Oh, death. Want to spare me over till another year? Well, what is this that I can't see with ice cold hands taking hold of me? Well, I am death, none can excel. I open the door to heaven or hell. Yep.
everybody's looking, trying to find a way out. See them seeing every day what this world's all about. You're realizing that it's hard, you're trying to pick the right path. There's poor people, poor streets inside the neighborhood mass. Bearing scars of the past, they keep trying to escape. Destiny within their eyes, these are the tears of our fate. All these numbers of our lives that we keep trying to equate. They got us living every day, we're in search of that gate. Pray. Behold the pale horse and the rider who decides the fate of one who made a failed choice. Put a tail off behind it and trails off in the fire that spark those who don't know they're stuck on a stale course. Yeah, we all face death when it comes to take your breath. Usually without knowing how many days are left. Some raise their chest, others cower when it comes. Whether you're living in the towers or down in the slums. Oh, death. Oh, oh, death. Won't you spare me over to the your feet till you can't walk I'll lock your door till you can't talk I'll close your eyes till you can't see this very hour come and go with me praying heaven's coming praying it doesn't come late this is for real man it's how I push through my pain when ass is always falling and death's rain it's cold outside death look me in my eyes hold through these plans man we gotta be wise hold through together is then they will rise. I'm saying peace for all my people that can see through the lies. And can that la la breeze running up her thighs while she's singing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Won't you spare me over to the night? I'm death, I come to take the soul, to leave the body and leave it cold. Throw up the flesh off of the frame. Dirt and worm both have a claim. Take a moment to reflect on Think of all the things in your life that you slept on Or slip through your fingers like Teflon Cause you lost your focus steady Think about the next dawn Saying that the next dawn you'd make things better But you didn't get a chance to make your reparations Better make some preparations But if you're not ready yet Death comes for all of us, my friends So you better get Olsen? Olsen? Hey. Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé? <coughs> 